I'm going to show you how to install Stealth Lock. First, make sure you have all the necessary parts and tools. Your Stealth Lock kit should contain a transmitter pad, a receiver latch with a strike plate and installation tool, a packet of screws, and an instruction manual. The tools required are a small power drill, a 3 32nd inch drill bit, a number two Phillips screwdriver bit, and a pencil. You'll also need four AAA batteries for the lock itself. To begin installation, first install the four AAA batteries in the receiver latch battery pack. Press the learn button using the drill bit or another small tool until the yellow light illuminates. This may take a second or two, but will assure that the stealth lock is in the unlocked state. Next, choose a mounting location in your cabinet where the receiver latch will not interfere with any hardware, handles, or shelves. Hold the receiver latch on the side of the cabinet so that the alignment legs on the red installation tool sit squarely on the cabinet end panel. If your case does not have overlay doors, you may need to use the installation template, which can be found on our website, stealthlock.com. Using the pencil, mark the two oval holes in the receiver latch so they can be seen in the cabinet panel. Using a 3 32nd inch drill bit, bore two pilot holes in the oval markings as shown. Keep the pilot holes at the front of the oval marks to provide the most adjustment flexibility. Be careful not to drill through the cabinet side. Now mount the receiver latch in place using two of the screws in the pilot holes. You're now ready to set the strike plate in position. Remove the release paper from the back side of the strike plate and close the door firmly. When you open the door, the strike plate should be adhered to the back side of the door. If the strike plate did not adhere to the door, you may need to move the receiver latch forward a small amount using the oval adjustment holes. Fix the strike plate in place by boring two pilot holes and then installing two screws. If you mount the strike plate on a drawer, you may want to use the center hole in the strike plate instead. Open and close the door several times to test for proper alignment. You should hear a slight click each time the door is closed, and you should feel a slight amount of free play in the door. Test the receiver latch by using the transmitter pad that came with it. Enter the user code, and press lock. The door will now be securely locked with just a little free play in the door. Enter the user code again and press unlock. The door will now open. Once you're sure the receiver latch has been adjusted correctly, you can bore two more pilot holes in the front mounting holes and install the remaining screws. The transmitter pad can be mounted anywhere within 15 feet of the receiver latch. Simply pull the release paper from the adhesive back and place in the desired location.